it was good to get back out there. Uh, you know, had a good warm day, which we which we need for conditioning and and uh, challenging those guys. They've had a good summer, so guys got through it pretty well. I thought, uh, for the most part, I thought effort, uh, passion to play. I saw a lot of want to. I mean, we got to get better in execution, but a lot of the other guy, older guys, uh, you saw had a, a lot better feel on day one than they did in spring, and they're you know, starting to carry over. I mean, it's nowhere where it needs to be, and it's it'll get the timing of things will get back going. But just the knowledge and the questions they ask when something happened, I thought offensive and defense we much better. Not not many blown assignments, you know what I'm saying? Not much, you know, much things as far as, and that's the first thing, knowing what to do, and then uh, we got to polish up how to do it. But the young guys, some of those young guys got plenty of reps. I think their eyes got open and the tempo. Of practice and that the way we practice they all gonna get plenty of rep just as much as everybody else and some of those guys you know they and I'm not going I don't know who but some of those guys at different times you've seen their athletic ability I'm very happy we have them so there's a lot of work to be done and where we're going uh, but the attitude is very good and uh, hopefully we can keep it there. Jimbo with a summer and a spring in how much of a grasp do your quarterbacks have of what you want to do? Much better I mean much better the question I mean they're still little nuances of things and getting guys around them to do it just how they want them to do it. But the questions and their eyes and their footwork and decision making, getting the ball out was a lot better. And then I was very pleased in the run game because also the run checks, getting us in the right plays and the right looks so we could run the football in the right way. So I think really and much uh, passing game wise, they, they it was pretty good. But really, I saw really protections and uh, run game checks was really, really good. I, I saw a big jump in that. Not that, and I'm not disappointed with the pass. I mean, they really progressed in that area. And how do you see the reps splitting out between your quarterbacks as you go through? They're 50 50. They're, they're, they'll rotate with the, the ones the same amount of time. Well, one of those guys have to be to kind of maybe stick themselves out a little bit. They got to win the team. They got to win the team and get the team to have confidence in them that that's, that's who they want to be their quarterback and then play with great consistency and make plays with the ball and take care of it when you need to. In your mind, why do you think Starkville hasn't created that separation yet? Well, but the other guy started all year too, and it's all new on them. They're they're all even. It's 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 a dead even race. They started with the same same offense, a new offense that neither one of them have, have ever seen before. And both guys have started probably about the same number of games, and uh, and did the same thing. So I think both guys are very good players. How can you tell when a guy has won the team? You know, there's no there's no one thing. You know, you can tell by the players. You can tell by the execution. Tell by the ball movement. Things going up and down the field, and just his overall level of of doing things. Jimbo, how important is tempo to your practices? Extremely. Tempo, get get reps, get the conditioning, and you got to learn to play fast, process fast, and move to the next play. Whether it's good or bad, the game is played that way, especially with no huddle teams. And we we know we did a lot of some no huddle today ourselves. It's getting one, it works our defense, and two, we're going to do it on offense at times at you know, at different speeds. But you know, it's very important to get the reps in and practice and the tempo and to process your mind to think fast, move fast, and whatever's happened to move on to the next play, good or bad, and, and get to the next one. What was your impression? Well, he was he was on the field away from me a lot today, but when he was with me, I thought he did a really nice job. And uh, we'll ask when he gets back. And tomorrow he'll be with me tomorrow, and Nick will be on the other field. Anything specifically that you like that in? No, I mean I just think they're both doing a good job and got a good grasp. We'll watch the film. What kind of carryover did you see from Sternberger today? A lot. Just uh, I mean playing a lot faster earlier. I mean it, in the second half of spring last year, once it took off, he really took off. But you could see the athleticism. You see the confidence in the way he's moving around. And like the young tight ends, I mean uh, I thought Trevor came in and did a real nice job. I mean picking up first day, I mean noticed him on the field making plays. And what way did they complement each other? Well, I mean you got to have two, and you can move them both around. You can flex them both out. You can put them both in the backfield on the lines of scrimmage, and, and they're both similar, but they're both physical, big. Uh, Trevor's a little bigger. Jay's probably a hair faster, but they're both really good players. In Atlanta. Great running backs play for you at Florida State. Does he? Uh, does well, he, he has a good attitude. He has ability to run the ball. We'll see. I mean, we has a chance to run the ball, catch the ball, and I, and I think you know expanding in the passing game is things that he can do, and uh, I think we'll, that he likes to do. It, I think is something that uh, we'll work with too. So I think he has a chance to be a really good player. Would you would you make of the O line um, that ran with the ones that? I thought he did a real nice job in the checks and getting the process in the game in the game and getting on the getting a hat to a hat which was that's the key thing. First of all, you got to get to get a hat on a hat when you're making checks and being able to redeclare mics and and do those things. I thought they did a really nice job. There was a couple little things, but for the most part for a first day, I was very pleased with what they did. As far as assignment wise, we'll look at the tech. Game going so fast, you got to look at some technique things on the film, but I, I like they know what they're doing. Are you all are y'all going to give are you going to look at center and kind of see Oh, no doubt. Center? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that a tribute to him? That's what he's, he was the center today. McCoy yeah, was the guard. Right. right. What does that say about just his growth that you can move McCoy well, over? Well, his growth in playing, and he played before. And you're talking about he's a tough guy now, and he's smart. And he, and McCoy does a great job at guard or center and, he, and gives us some versatility at different places. So how long do you think it will take before you maybe name starting quarterback? I don't know. 
No. Would you entertain? No, I, I really don't. I'm not trying. I just, you'll know when you know. Would you entertain uh, when is our first scrimmage? Next, about practice 10 or 11, somewhere in there. I'm not sure what so day it was. Oh, yeah. No, they're, they're a little bit behind those two, but they're good players. And Blumick, Drummick had a nice, pretty, did some nice things today. Would you entertain the possibility of playing two during the season? If it, was, if it was what was best for our team to win. Are you, are you surprised that all the guys are still, given the, the rate of transfers and how those guys are all close in, in classes, are you surprised that all of them are still on, on the roster? No, the I don't, because that's the way things are normally done. I mean, I, I think the abnormal is you got good kids who want to compete for a job, and no decisions have been made. And why you just because a guy leaves, there's no reason for that to happen. I mean, you know, you don't have to. Were you ever nervous at all that one of those guys was going to transfer out? Do what? Were you ever nervous that one of those guys was no. going to transfer out? No. Nope. Coach, when you look at the first three or four days of practice, is there anything in particular you want to see just in the Yeah, the energy, the, the urgency to be great. The urgency and the, the want to and the ability to correct mistakes, but play at a high tempo, play with great pace, have great effort, the toughness, all the intangibles, but, and then watching the fundamentals of how you gotta play and the toughness you gotta play with. But you gotta have that consistency and hopefully we'll get consistent through this about the day four, hopefully. What does it mean to you to be practicing now with a game and at the end of the, the practice sessions coming up? It means I'm excited and happy, because <laughs> I love it. I mean, that, that, you're getting back to what we do, and you know, you love recruiting and all the different things that go on in the off season. But you know, you love to coach ball and being on the field. And I'm excited to be back out here. Give me how fast everything came once you got hired. Did the summer give you a chance to maybe catch a breath? It did, because you didn't have time before then. But the way recruiting is now, you can bring visits all the way through June and all that. We didn't have much time. Summers are getting, <laughs> they're getting shorter and shorter the way these rules are. possible for a head coach, one person in charge of a college football program to really be kind of uh, responsible for or, you know, kind of looking over what everybody in a college football program is doing? Yeah, you, you, I mean, you have to try and, and be as aware and to make people communicate. And if you keep an open line of communication, you got to do the best you can. Not saying you're going to know 100% of things. I don't know. I mean, we try to, but to say that's going to happen. I don't know that, you know, I mean, I know what you're asking about, but I'm talking about other things besides that in general. You try to keep your hand on the pulse, but there's going to be things that you may find out a day later or a week late sometimes because guys don't communicate, but that's why I tell our guys, just communicate everything. No matter, There's no issue that's too big or too small that we can talk about and fix. And so you try to keep that open line of communication with your people to make sure you try to the best you can. I, to say you're going to do it 100% all the time, that's your goal, and, that's, and I'll, we'll never accept it till we can do it. Jim, well, there was a report out uh, recently that your contract has been finalized. Why is that? It's finalized. I don't. I don't know. It's fine. The, the, the thing of paying it and doing it, we're all fine. It's, it's probably a little something. It's nothing they've came to me with, so it doesn't mean nothing that major. You got when you players back ready. First year at Florida State, and you won as many games as you did. Any similarities between there and now? And what you that's hard to say because I mean everything has such. Well, I got to remember that's a long time ago. <laughs> and two, I mean, you yeah. know, each season takes it. Seasons unfold differently. And you say it at the beginning, what you may think in the beginning, and how teams unfold, and how they mature, and how quickly they adjust. It's it's too hard to ever compare like that. When you have something going on elsewhere, that's obviously big news. Does it affect the college football community as a whole? I don't, I, it makes you aware of things. It makes you know that you know that you know makes you you know we are we staying on top of all the things that can happen. And that's what again, like I said, we try and be on everything that we can possibly be on. So it does. It, you you you're aware of it and you know what's going on. So you you try to make sure that you know those things don't happen at your institution. All right, coach. Thanks. We got the players ready. Good. Thank y'all.